Hey y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. Welcome back to another What's for Dinner where I'm gonna show you three easy and delicious meals. Tonight we are trying a new recipe called Salsa Fresca Chicken. I hope I'm saying that right. We're gonna do a side of Mexican rice. I've shown that many times on my channel, and then we also have some avocados that we need to use up, so I'm gonna make us some guacamole. This recipe calls for shredded mozzarella cheese. You could buy pre-shredded, but I've really been in love with my cheese grater lately, so I bought a block of mozzarella cheese. I'm guessing about a half of the block will give us about a cup. The recipe calls for chopped onion. I have this red onion that I needed to use up, so we're just gonna do red onion instead of yellow. chicken so our chopped ingredients I'm gonna add our tomatoes in here I've got about two cups of diced grape tomatoes I'm gonna add in our jalapeno you could leave that out if you don't like spicy stuff but I did seed it so it won't be too hot at this point you could also add in some chopped cilantro we're gonna leave that out simply because Cole is not a huge fan of it and I'm gonna add in my onion I'm gonna juice this lime over top of this. And we're gonna add just a little bit of salt. I've got about two pounds of chicken breast here that we have just chopped into bite-sized pieces. I'm gonna line this baking dish with them. I try to get them in a single layer. I've got a quarter teaspoon each of red pepper flakes, ground cumin, and garlic powder. I'm gonna season our chicken with this. Also gonna add some salt and pepper. I'll stir these around just to make sure everything's kind of coated with the seasonings. We're gonna cover it with our mozzarella cheese before it goes in the oven. I have preheated the oven to 400 degrees and this is gonna go in for about 30 minutes. started on our Mexican rice. I've got this saucepan. I'm going to put just a little bit of oil in the bottom of it. We've got it heating to medium high heat. I'm going to add our cup of rice and we're going to cook it until it's translucent in the heat or in the heat, <laughs> in the oil. Okay, now that we have these, this rice looking pretty translucent, we're going to add in all the rest of our ingredients. I've got a cup and a half of chicken broth. ounces of tomato sauce, a teaspoon of garlic salt, a half a teaspoon of cumin, and a teaspoon of chili powder. We're going to bring this up to a boil and then I'll reduce it down and put a lid on it and we'll let it simmer for 25 minutes. Now that this has come up to a boil, I'm going to stir it just a little bit. I'm going to turn it down to low and pop the lid on there. We've got our rice going and it's 
Steven said that he wanted to make the guacamole. Baby, why did you want to make the guacamole? I don't know. I just didn't want to hold the camera anymore. <laughs> Okay, you want to make it? How come? He said, I'm sick of holding the camera. Where'd the seed go? On the flow? Yeah. <laughs> so if you've been around for a while, you know Cole is allergic to avocado, so he won't be partaking in the guacamole as much as he wants to because he loves guacamole. He's over here nodding next to me. Those things just want to get away, don't they, baby? They do. So this is just for me and Steven technical term for what this is is called mushing <laughs> this is mushing baby you gotta mush it up real good you're a good musher mushing is what they tell the dogs to do up there in alaska oh yeah mush we watched that movie what was that movie that was so good uh something about some dog something about some dog if y'all haven't seen that y'all need to see it <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes Something about some dog. Just type that into the... It was on uh, Disney Plus. I can't remember what it was about. Type that into the search box. Or what it's called. Something about some dog. Something about some dog. <laughs> A mushing dog. Yeah. A mushing <laughs> dog. He mushed. Oh, gosh. Seasoning. Oh, yeah. Don't be afraid to put no seasoning in there now. Now, that's garlic salt. Mmm. Okay. You don't want it to be Actually, too I want salty. garlic powder. That's what I was saying. Let's don't do salt. <laughs> yeah, go grab the garlic powder. I was about to say, we're about to have real to, salty. You're to poison us with sodium poison. <laughs> garlic powder. Hmm. That's going to be good. All right, now we want to put a little lime in the coconut. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yum. Sour cream, put her in there. Don't need too much, just kind of winging it. Wing it. Okay. What about a little uh, cilantro? Yes. How about we take. Since Cole's not eating it. We'll just take about that much or maybe a little more. What you think? I think that's good. How, how close we are. You can't get no better than that. <laughs> That's really good. Like a burrito bowl. It is like a burrito bowl. What is mm. this? Oh. Oh. <sighs> Touchdown. Mm. Good? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, that is really good. Good. The word good is almost like. Mm. Not good enough? No. That, that's an understatement. <laughs> understatement. So Cole's got some salsa here since he can't have our guac. There's our guac hiding behind this. Big old cup. Man, this is good. All right, so give me some, give me some other feedback other than man, this is good. <laughs> Chicken is tender. Okay. Um, great seasoning. Just, I mean, in terms of like the you know, Tex-Mex Mexican flavors, it's spot on. Really good. The rice, of course, is an excellent um, side with this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to dig in. I'm about to. caught on camera. What's up, baby doll? <laughs> tonight I'm making a 30 minute meal. It's really easy. It's just me in the kitchen tonight. Steven is having to work late. And it's really a meal for just me and Steven just because Cole is not a sweet potato fan. But it is called ground turkey sweet potato skillet. I'm only gonna need about half of this onion. I'm 
gonna chop up these three small sweet potatoes. If you have larger sweet potatoes, you'll just need two. We just need about a half a cup of shredded mozzarella, but I'm gonna use this half a block, which is probably gonna be more like a cup. Okay, I've got everything prepped and ready. The only thing I didn't chop up yet was this cilantro. That's just gonna go on top, so I'll do that while it's cooking. But let's head over to the stove. I'm gonna be using this large skillet. I'm going to heat it to about medium high, so let's do that now. And I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil to here. When I have the time, I like to mince up my own garlic, but tonight we are taking the easy route. I need about a tablespoon of garlic. I'm gonna add this in here. I'm just letting this garlic kind of infuse the olive oil and then I'm gonna add in our pound of ground turkey and just cook it all the way through. That took about eight minutes or so to cook all the way through. Now I'm gonna add some seasonings. I've got a teaspoon of chili powder and a tablespoon and a half of cumin. If you've ever cooked with turkey, you know it can be quite bland. So you wanna make sure that you season it really well. I'm also gonna add some salt and pepper. That looks much better, not bland at all. And now we're gonna add in our bell pepper and our onion and we're gonna cook this until it's softened, probably three or four minutes. Okay, those have softened. We're gonna add in our sweet potatoes. And we're gonna add in a half a cup of water. We're gonna stir this around and we're gonna put a lid on it. We're gonna let those sweet potatoes soften. It should take eight to 10 minutes. And you wanna keep checking on it and making sure that the meat is not drying out. You can always add a little more water if you need it. Okay, so I did add in another fourth of a cup of water about halfway through. It is very tender now. All of my sweet potatoes are very tender. Nothing has dried out. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat down. I'm gonna add a little more salt and pepper, and then I'm gonna add our cheese on top and let it melt, and then it's gonna be time to eat. So I just told Stephen what this was. He didn't even know what I was cooking. So this is complete surprise to you, isn't it's it, really man? Really good, yeah. All right. Tell us what you think. Well, it looks visually appealing. Yes, it does. Kind of healthy. Love that cheese. Right, yeah. Oh yeah. Mmm. That is good. I love the seasonings on this ground turkey. Yeah. That's what I was saying earlier, how ground turkey can be super bland, yeah, so. Man, really good. Yeah, this is not bland at all. Oh, good. I love the, the seasonings in it. Does it have cumin in it? It does, it has a good bit of cumin. Definitely get the cumin, it's really good. It's not overpowering. Um, and then just a little sweetness in the sweet potato there. It's really good. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna give it a try. So I think it's delicious as well. And Cole took a bite in there and Cole, surprisingly, it's good. he was right. really shocked. He was like, I can hardly even taste the sweet potato. Cole likes it. Okay, it is subby supper day. However, I'll show you that later. It's actually, it's only two o'clock in the afternoon, but I'm going to make potato salad for tonight and I'm gonna go ahead and fry up some bacon that we will be using tonight with Subby Supper. Anyway, I just wanna have a little chat really quickly. You ever just feel like not cooking? 
because that's me today. I really am not in the mood to cook today, but I'm gonna push through it and I'm gonna cook because I wanna get this video up for y'all. Just not in the cooking mood, but we're gonna push through. You're gonna help me because accountability. I know you're not physically here right now, but I'm gonna pretend that you're here. Let's get to cooking. So I'm not sure if I've ever shared just my regular potato salad with y'all. I can't remember. I will leave it linked below, of course, but I'm not, I don't have quite everything. I couldn't find a green bell pepper at the store this week, so I'm gonna use a red bell pepper instead. I don't have red potatoes. I'm just gonna use regular potatoes. And I don't have dill relish, I don't think. So I'll just chop up some pickles to put in it. So we're just gonna go with it. But I wanna get it made now so that it can be cold by the time it's time to eat tonight. Okay, so let's get started. The very first thing I need to do, because I almost always forget to do it until it's time to add them into the mix, is hard boil these two eggs. I thought I didn't have any red potatoes. I had two left, so I will use these, and then the rest of them I'll just use these little russet potatoes. Okay, this should be about two and a half pounds of potatoes, so I'm just gonna put these in some water and put them on the stove and just boil these until they are fork tender. Okay, let's assemble our potato salad. I'm gonna add in our potatoes. I'm gonna add in my two hard boiled eggs, my relish, or my pickles, onion, and my bell pepper. I'm gonna do around a half a cup of mayonnaise. I never measure this, I just kinda eyeball it. And a couple of tablespoons of mustard. I usually put in just a little bit of sugar, like a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of sugar, not much at all. And some salt and pepper, and that's it. Okay, it's done. I'm gonna put a lid on it and put it in the fridge and it will be ready for dinner tonight. Okay, as part of the subby supper tonight, we need some thick cut bacon. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it and cut it up. It's already cut up. I'm gonna go ahead and fry it up so that it's ready for tonight and you'll get to see that in just a second. It'll be several hours for me, but you'll see why in just a minute. But I'm gonna go ahead and use this um, peppercorn bacon. I found this at Aldi this week. I couldn't find just regular bacon, but I think this will actually be really good for what we're using it for. I got a little sidetracked, and they're a little extra crispy, but that's okay, right? I'm doing several things at once, but I know I'm gonna be thankful I already have this fried up tonight when it's time to make dinner. Okay, now it's time for our subby supper portion of the meal. If you are new here, I am saying subby supper. Subby is short for subscriber, and that is the segment on my channel where I share one of your recipes. So a subscriber sends in their recipe. If it's one that we want to try, I will email them back, get to know them a little bit, and then I share their recipe and share just a little bit about them here on our channel. Tonight's subby supper recipe is a sandwich. It's called the Bobby D and it comes from Amanda. Amanda lives in Bristol, Indiana with her husband of six years named Blythe. They have a fur baby, sweet Presley Jane. I'm gonna pop her picture up here. And Amanda is a registered nurse and she is work currently working on the COVID floor. So thank you so much for all that you're doing during this crazy time. I'm sure that your life has just been turned upside down lately. When she's not working, she loves to cook 
and she used to live, she's originally from New York, and she said she worked in a deli there. And this was a sandwich, I guess, from that deli, and she said this was the sandwich or the recipe that kind of won her hubby over when they were dating. So thank you, Amanda. We're really excited to give this one a try. You know we love a good sandwich. And there's so many good elements to this one, it was a no-brainer. Here's everything we need. I pounded out these chicken breasts to be pretty thin. The recipe calls for Italian breadcrumbs. I thought I had some, all I had is plain, so we're gonna make it Italian. I need an egg, some flour, some ranch dressing, and then this is going to be turned into sandwiches, so I'm going to kind of cut this into thirds to make subs. We've got pepper jack cheese, some lettuce and tomato, and I am going to season our chicken with some nature seasons. Y'all know it's my favorite. Okay, I'm gonna make my stations for my chicken. I've got some flour that I'm gonna put in this first bowl. In our second bowl, I'm just gonna crack this egg. And then in this third bowl, I'm going to put our breadcrumbs and our Italian seasoning. mix this together really well. Looks like Italian breadcrumbs to me. And I'm gonna whisk this egg. So we're gonna do flour first. Then egg. And breadcrumbs. Total fail when I was cutting up this bread. This cut up nicely, this cut up nicely, and then I cut this in half the wrong way. First, I mean, you see there's two pieces to each, the top and the bottom. This will just be mine. <laughs> I'm just not having a good day. Okay, that's all right. I'm gonna put this under the broiler just to lightly kind of toast it, and then we'll take it out, and then we'll get started on the chicken, frying up the chicken, but I just wanted to go ahead and get this part done because I knew if I started on the chicken and had this in the broiler, I would burn it. While our bread is under the broiler, I'm gonna try. There we go. And open this and add our vegetable oil in here. We're gonna do some pretty shallow frying, so I don't need really deep oil, but we're gonna get it up to temperature. And I've got it on medium-high heat. We want it to get up to around 350 degrees before we put our chicken in. Look who's done with work, just in time to do the part that I don't like to do. <laughs> I love frying up stuff. He loves this part and I don't. So he finished up work and he came in here and I was like, oh great, just in time, babe. Okay, so tell them what you just told me. The key to frying is temperature. Yep, you wanna make sure that it's at the right temperature. Because if you put it in there and it's not hot enough yet, you're gonna have a soggy mess. Put it in and lay them away from yourself like that. And we can fit that third one in there. So they've been in for about five minutes or so. He turns them about every minute just to make sure it doesn't burn on the bottom. Okay, these are done. Let's take them over here, babe. Okay, so put them on the baking sheet, right. each one. Oh, let me put them on here. Yes. <laughs> okay, and now we're gonna put a piece of pepper jack cheese on top of each one. Speaking my language now. I'm speaking your language. And then put a piece of bacon on each one. Mm -hmm. You know, we could put the bacon underneath. Nope, nope. we're gonna put more pepper oh. jack on top of the bacon. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> now, there you go. Yeah. 
that. Boom. There you go. Look at you being fancy. <laughs> okay, and this is gonna go under the broiler just until everything is melted, and then it's gonna be time to eat. So I've got our ranch dressing. I'm gonna put it on each side of the sandwich. And then my poor pitiful little one over here that I cut in half the wrong way. <laughs> you should have heard Steven when he came in here. He was like, what happened here? <laughs> she made breadsticks. <laughs> Let's get these babies out of here. Oh, that looks good. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes, ma'am. Gracie said, Meow. Gracie approves. Oh, that is perfection. All right, babe. That sandwich is as big as my head. I'm glad I didn't eat much for lunch. <laughs> okay, so he feels like he wants a little more ranch, so I put some in here for him. Hallelujah. Mm. That's a good sandwich. Oh yeah. I mean, what can you go on? I know. It's yeah. Very simple ingredients. Very sure. simple ingredients, and then bacon makes everything better, oh. right? <laughs> so you've got the Italian flavors of those breadcrumbs, and then ranch dressing and bacon. And that combination and pepper jack cheese too is over the top. You have the cheese. You can you can get kind of the cheese in there too, but it's just the the, the crust and that bacon ranch coming together is really nice. So thank you, Amanda, for sending this in. This is one honker of a sandwich, but I'm excited to give it a try, even though mine's kind of broken in half. I've made this potato salad ten thousand times. He oh, loves yeah. it though. I love it. Really good. I like the onions in there. Mm -hmm. Pickles. Mm. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this What's for Dinner. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did. And if this is your first time here, or if you haven't, if you've been here before but haven't clicked that red subscribe button, do that before you leave. That way you won't miss any of my future videos. Thanks y'all, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.